you know, I just assume we're, we're the only wine region in Australia, you know, so. <laughs> There's everything that you could want in the Hunter Valley. You know, you have you have your Semillon, you've got awesome Chardonnay, we've always had great Shiraz, you've now got all these other alternative varieties. We do sparkling, we do fortifieds, we've got everything and people are branching out, people are being more adventurous, so you know, we, we don't make a lot of wine in the Hunter Valley, but what we do have is awesome. We've seen a need to change, a need to innovate and a need for a little bit more excitement in what we do. I, I honestly think because of the weight and the elegance of Hunter wines that it is so perfectly matched with food. They are really diverse and adaptable to such a wide variety and if you haven't done it, a glass of Semillon, a fresh dozen oysters and it's, it's just an absolute match made in heaven. We're, we're just loving what we're doing um, and I think that's that useful bounce in our step sort of thing. Hey, let's make some cool booze. We are exploring new foods and new styles. Um, we are also planting alternative varieties. So those alternative varieties are things like Barbera, Tempranillo, Fiano, Vermentino. They're really exciting varieties because they're suited to our regions, but they allow us to create something different. So we can line them up next to a Semillon, next to a Hunter Shiraz that are very classic and, and have put us on the map but say, hey, why don't you try this as well? We make um, some exceptionally good progressive styles of Australian wine here in the Hunter. We do a, a blend, which is a really old blend of Shiraz and Pinot. And so many people say to me, oh, that's new. Uh, it's really not new. It's been around for a really long time. We're probably just putting a bit of a different slant on it. But if you had to look around and say, who's out there doing great things, it is a really great, fun generation of winemakers and see if we can, you know, turn the tables a bit and show people that there's some, you know, great wines out there and I mean, Vermentino's on the march and all these things. So I think it's time to show that we can do some great new progressive styles here in the Hunter. This is a chat with Mike. Ah. <laughs>